What's good, everybody? It's your boy Q, and this is Antelope Audio Zen Q Synergy Core. Sounds like it was made for me, right? Well, <laughs> it was not made for me, but instead it was made for musicians like me and you. So today, we're going to get into everything Antelope Audio Zen Q Synergy Core. Let's get into this prank thing. Shotty 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 she put her hand down my pants, said it's a ruler. Saw her up and I'm staying, she is a cool girl. If it get out of hand, no, I'm a deucer. I put that on the set, I put that on God, put that on baby, I put a whole chain on my neck. I treat interviews like it's the breakfast club, cause I still need respect, peck, peck. They be like how he be pressing when he don't play ball, but he still keep a tech, tech, tech. But that's something I don't address, stress, stress. What's good, everybody? Today, we're going to be getting into everything Antelope Audio Zen Q Synergy Core. All right, this is the new Zen Q. All right, this is the predecessor or the big brother of the Zen Go. Um, in this version, this is a USB bus powered audio interface. All right, guys. Now, if you know anything about me, guys, you know I love Antelope Audio. Okay, guys, you know I've been using the Discrete 4 audio interface for a very, very, very long time. So, when Antelope Audio sent me this over, the Zen Q Synergy Core, I was more than eager to get my hands on it and do a review to see what this is all about, all right? I have high expectations because, as you know, guys, like I said, the Discrete 4 has done me well to this day. So, I'm excited to figure this out, all right, guys? Now, if you know anything about Antelope Audio, they are very, very, very well known for their converters, all right? They're A to D, D to A converters, all right? The converters are amazing. The cleanest converters, the most transparent converters that I know about, all right? They are top tier in the game of audio interfaces conversion, all right? Not only that, but their preamps are the cleanest console grade style preamps I've ever heard. Literally, they will have you literally buy an independent preamp and you play it back versus this and you start to debate should you have bought the preamp, literally. All right, guys, so let's get right into it, all right? The Zen Q Synergy Core is a 14 in, 10 out audio interface, all right? With two preamps on board that you can actually connect to, all right? The others can be connected through SPDIF or ADAT inputs, all right? So there's plenty of connectivity for you guys if you're looking for, you know, to add, you know, outboard gear on or, you know, add your own preamps. There's plenty of, there's plenty of, plenty, plenty of room to run things, all right, guys? Now, this is a smaller, you know, it's very mobile. All right, so that's one thing that I really love about it. It's a mobile interface, so that's one of the many things that I really love about it, but it really packs a punch, all right? With all the connectivity and the durability of this interface, you kind of can't go wrong, all right? Now, on the front of the hardware, you'll see there's two guitar inputs, all right, on the front, along with two headphone inputs, okay? So, where that comes in handy for, for instance, if I'm sitting there making a song with, you know, my guy, we're about to make a song, you feel me? I want to have those headphones on so I can monitor while they're performing with their headphones on so we can listen to this at the same time. I don't want to have to be going back and forth, you know, Oh, he just recorded something and he heard it. Then we got to play it out loud to hear it back to see if I like it. I'd rather be in that smooth workflow where I can have my headphones on and have the artists have their headphones on so that we're able to be monitoring this at the same time so that we don't have to waste time and our workflow is going super smooth. All right. So that is the front of this hardware. Okay. Now on the top or the face of it, we have a big knob. Okay. This knob controls a lot of things like the, the gain levels. Um, you know, you can press it. It's very durable. It's very, very durable. Super surprising. Uh, well, not really surprising, to be honest, because I have a lot of experience with this Discrete 4. Um, this, this controls your headphones. You have a button here for your headphones, your gain, and this is probably your menu button right here, if I'm, you know, correct about that. So, on the back is where we get to all the good stuff, okay? We have our two console-grade preamps. Now, listen. They're not saying console grade for, for marketing purposes. Like literally, these are console grade preamps. They sound amazing. Literally, the cleanest preamps that I've used on an audio interface, all right? And we have our monitors left and right, inputs right here, okay? That'll be your quarter inch jack. And we have also a line out right here, which means that you can also add two pairs of monitoring speakers or you can actually put real-time hardware in here. So you can put reverbs in here, you know, compressors, whatever you need to run in here, you can do that, all right? And that's only on the actual device. You can actually expand this with SPDIF and ADAT. So you can run way more hardware through this device, all right? And like I said, guys, this is a bus-powered audio interface, okay? Now, the really cool thing about this is 
it's bus powered, so that means you can run this, of course, with your Mac and your Windows operating system. But not only that, but this actually has FPGA and DSP technology running through it, which means you pretty much have some extra power helping you go through this while you're going into your computer so you can really you know, really load things up on here so that you're able to get that sound that you're looking for with their actual plugins, okay? So now that we ran through the hardware part of this, guys, I really wanna show you guys their their actual interface, you know, the Antelope Audio Launcher, where we can control not only those plugins, those real-time plugins that I'm super excited to show you guys about, but where we can actually just control pretty much everything that we can do on here, we can do on the computer and more, all right? Let's get into it. All right, everybody, now that you can see the screen, the control panel on the screen right here. I'll go through and actually tell you guys what I like about it. All right. But I want to let you guys know we are actually going through the Zen Q Synergy Core right now. All right. We're going through their console grade preamps. So what we're looking at right now is the control panel. So this is the Zen Q Synergy Core. And we're just going to go through it a little bit and tell you guys what I like about it. So as you can see, guys, this is a super clean interface. This looks super clean, super organized, and it's very easy to get once you kind of get in there, all right? I know it kind of looks intimidating to some who probably aren't at this level, who aren't using, you know, any of those interfaces before you actually get into the DAW, you know, people using like the uh, Focusrite 2i2. It doesn't come with this right here, all right? But once you actually make that step forward, you're gonna see why you might wanna actually get into this right now, all right? So with the simple stuff, um, like I told you before, everything that can be controlled in the hardware audio interface, we can actually do on this screen as well. For instance, your 48 volts, when you're powering up your phantom power microphone, um, that's right here, right? That's right here, this is your gain control. We could turn us down, we could turn us up, all right? So this is your gain control and your mic, your line and your high Z. Okay, so for instance, if you're, you know, if you wanna use a outboard preamp, you'd of course go through the line, you'll have your quarter inch jack going through your preamp to bypass that, um, and then you'll use your line input instead of your mic input, okay? So in our case, like I said, since we're using, going straight through the interface, the, the console, since we're going straight through the interface, we're using our mic line in and we're using our 48 volts, okay? So now this is all pretty simple. And here's your second preamp one right here. We don't have anything, you know, plugged in, but you know, say if you have another singer, you're doing something live, um, this can be very useful as well as Antelope Audio actually has their own line of microphones, which is the Duo um, that I have, of course, which is, you know, you guys seen in my previous videos, but you can go ahead and sync these and, you know, combine them so that you're able to use their emulation, their microphone emulations, which are actually great guys. If you don't know about it, check out the last review, all right? Going down, this is where it gets into those really, really exciting things that I like, which is their actual plugins, their FPGA plugins that come with their interface. All right. Now, I do believe that you have to buy some, but I do believe that some come free. So let's get right into it. So all you have to do would be to click around this area and all you would do, it gives you all these these plugins. All right. Now, looking at all these plugins, guys, we have some of the greatest, you know, hardware emulations going through this actual interface all right so the really cool thing about it is they sound amazing now with you guys knowing me i love my sony c800g going through my neve clone preamp my 1073 preamp going through a compressor okay a compressor a tube compressor now for a lot of you guys at home those options can be very very expensive so that's where these come in okay now i'm gonna actually kind of emulate that chain and show you guys how I would set this up, which is how I set it up when I'm mobile, you know, at home working on things, or if I'm actually moving, I like to still have that analog sounding, you know, my sound, my signature chain, okay, before it even gets to the DAW. So what we're doing right now is processing the audio before it kind of gets into our DAW. So let's go ahead and do that. Like, for instance, I like to put the, like I said, the preamp that I like to use is the Neve 1073. So in this case, we will go to their preamps, and we have the BAE 1073, all right? So we'll click that and boom, we are in there. All right, I'm gonna go to the 300. As you can hear, it gives you that body, that body. You instantly heard, we got that body. So this gives it that character and these plugins that Antelope Audio went ahead and you know programmed and, and made, these are amazing sounding as you can hear. So now after the preamp, I really like to, to put in a compressor. So let's go find a compressor right now. 
and we'll go with a uh, tube 176. All right, as you can hear, this kind of warms up that sound already. All right, let's go ahead and crank this in some. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we're getting some gain reduction right here. So you can kind of hear this warms up that vocal before we're even getting into the DAW. So these plugins are amazing, all right? Just showing you guys how clean, organized, and simple this can be, but also elevate your, you know, your, your kind of your experience with, you know, the hardwares or, you know, the hardwares that we wish we could have um, all in one suite right here with Antelope Audio. Now, another great thing is, if you're not quite wanting to actually commit to all these plugin processing and the printing on your actual inputs or your vocals that you're putting in, do not worry guys. Antelope Audio has a bridge plugin that only costs $199, which allows you to be able to use all your plugins that you have to actually be able to use them in your DAW in real time. All right, so let me go ahead and bypass all those plugins. And let's get into the DAW and I'm gonna show you how that works as well. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this looks when we're actually adding the AFX to DAW. Okay, so we're gonna go and put in our AFX to DAW. And as you can see, we get this panel right here. Okay, this is kind of like our bridge, like I told you before, where you can actually go in and choose your vintage EQs, okay? So we got a SSL uh, emulation EQ right here, okay? So you can get those sweet, uh, you know, those sweet highs, and we can get those really uh, tight lows, okay, with the SSL. We got all types of different things, like I said, guys. We got the, the, the Opto 2A, and all this can work inside of your DAW using their real-time plug-in suite. All right, guys? So my final thoughts, guys. Like I said before, I'm a huge fan of Antelope Audio because literally the interfaces just sound better. If you're a person, like I told you, on Focusrite 2i2s and you're ready to take it to that next level, Antelope Audio is kind of where I would recommend you guys to go. Um, listen, I'm a living proof, literally. I use the Discrete 4 day-to-day -day and the durability, I've never really had any problems with it. Their customer service is great. Like, literally, they, they'll take over your computer if you have any questions. Um, but, like I said, guys, this is kind of that, um, if you're ready to take it to that next level, guys, and experience different plugins, you know, at a, you know, pretty much at a, at a cheaper rate than you can get these other suites, um, I think the Zen Q Synergy Core, both in a studio setting or even a mobile setting, which I use it for because it's nice and compact, I think it's a win-win, okay? Just coming short of $1,000 at $899, so not even $1,000, not even $900, so $899 um, short. Um, I think it's a great bang for your buck, guys. Expansion on this is amazing. Um, literally, there's nothing you can't do, guys. Look, it's a go. Zen Q for a reason. You already know who it is, man. Thank you, Antelope Audio, for sending this over. Um, I will be putting this into my workflow for sure. And like you viewers out there, if you need any audio interface that's going to take you to the next level, the ZenQ is the way to go. See you guys next time. Dunzos! Ah!